Hello and welcome to another video from Very Victoria Cross. Glad you could join me. Um, today is a request from some of my team and customers that they find our wonderful trimmer, uh, the maths of it, a little bit tricky. Let me show you what I mean. So this is a close-up photo of part of our trimmer and as you can see here in the UK we have a trimmer which works uh, in imperial and metric so we have both number systems marked on our trimmer this is just on the trimmer that comes down the side and uh, not on the piece that goes across the top and recently we were doing a project where the ladies had to measure in sixteenths of an inch and eighths of an inch and they found this a little bit challenging and asked for my help on how to do this so I said that I would explain this so in the UK if you're a certain age then you may have been taught at school uh, how to use this larger system up here um, of measurements called the imperial system and if you're a younger member maybe then uh, you will have been uh, brought up using centimetres, the metric system, which is based on things being divided up into 10. Okay, so how to use um, the imperial system. Let's have a quick look up here. So we're looking at this line here, which comes down the middle, and it's divided up into sections. Now it's going to be easier if I start at one. Okay, so here we have this largest line here, and you can see that's marked one inch. Okay, and then you can see here, this is kind of equally as tall and it's halfway between one and two inches so this is our half line measurement so it's one and a half inches okay now these next two lines that are large here they're not quite as big as these three these ones here these are quarter inches so you've got one inch one and a quarter one and a half one and three quarters and I think most people are happy with that. But where it starts to get a little bit confusing is this next set of lines down here, this next high lines. Now, the way that I work it is by counting how many of them there are. So we've got one, because we would start at one, and then this is part of that as well, two. And then this is also one of these lines. Can you see that the measurement between there is the same as here? Okay, and so on. So they're equally spaced. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. those are our eights okay so um, if you were to count those this is one and one eighth one and two eighths which is the same as one and a quarter one and three eighths one and a half one and uh, five eighths one and six eighths one and seven eighths and then one and uh, eight eighths would be the same as two whole ones two okay which leaves us with this last set of lines these green little lines which if we count them up, there are 16. So that's our 16. Okay, so if something was to say one and three sixteenths, it's one inch and three of these little lines. So that would be three sixteenths there. If it said one and um, eight sixteenths, it would actually come to here, which is the same as one and a half because eight over 16, and that's half, so eight sixteenths. So to make it a little bit clearer, what I've done is I've drawn it all out on this line here just to try and show you here okay so we've got we start at zero one sixteenth two sixteenths is the same as one eighth three sixteenths one quarter which is the same as four sixteenths or two eighths five sixteenths six sixteenths seven sixteenths eight sixteenths and so on so hopefully next time you're asked to measure a project you can have a think about that and just look and count up the lines and see how many there are and that will help you to work out what measurements you need so if you always try and think of looking along here and working out that the largest ones are your whole numbers and the half these are your quarters and then the next highest are your eighths and the tiny ones here are your sixteenths. So I hope that helps answer a few of your questions today and uh, look forward to seeing you again at another Very Victoria Crafts video. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up or a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Bye.